I hope people can see me there. It says I'm live. It's the first time I've done this, so it's exciting. But um, uh, basically, I'm going to give a talk today on the difference between marijuana, cannabis, hemp, and tobacco. Uh, the reason why I feel this uh, is such an important talk topic is November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. And being somebody who geeks out on cannabis, I think it's really important for people to be aware about what actually causes lung cancer uh, when we're talking about uh, smoke. So um, you can, I will break for questions and I'll look for questions. You can follow me, uh, hit follow uh, in the live cast there. Uh, you can ask a question as it's coming up. Um, and uh, I'm going to get started. So basically, when we're talking about uh, the cannabis plant, cannabis sativa, uh, this is marijuana, hemp, and cannabis. They're basically the same thing. It's just the amount of uh, medicated resin, the actual compounds that are found in the plant that make it different. So hemp is generally grown for fiber and textiles and paper and things like that. And it has a very low amount of THC and CBD and, and the other cannabinoids that you see back here. Because <clears throat> it's really the plant matter uh, that we're going for, the fiber. Marijuana and cannabis are the type of hemp or cannabis plant that has very uh, high amounts of THC and CBD, these active ingredients in the plant. And uh, marijuana is just a slang term. So when we're talking about cannabis or medical marijuana or medicinal cannabis uh, or marijuana, those are all basically the same things. Uh, it is important to, to note the distinction between THC and CBD which uh, is really important. THC is, uh, is uh, the main ingredient in cannabis that gets you high. It's psychoactive. It's a strong uh, chemical. You feel it in your body. Um, when uh, you, uh, you live in the US, uh, this is a regulated chemical. It's considered a schedule one substance with absolutely no medical benefit. So uh, that's an important distinction. CBD or cannabidiol, is uh, another compound that's found in hemp and marijuana and cannabis, found in the cannabis plant, and it's uh, a much milder chemical. It doesn't uh, get one high. It does have an altering effect. Even if you have an anxiety attack and you take CBD, uh, that alters uh, your state of being, so it is an alterant, but we're not getting high off of CBD. And CBD is legal. You can buy it um, at uh, the Whole Foods if you want to. Uh, you can buy it off my website, hezerhelps.com. Um, and then we have tobacco. So tobacco is also a plant, and it's been a medicinal herbal plant for uh, uh, hundreds of years. In fact, it was grown um, by Native Americans uh, far uh, before uh, any Europeans came to, the, to North America. And it was uh, Europeans that actually brought hemp uh, to North America. So nic nicotine or nicotania, the, the tobacco plant, has been around for a long time. And they, uh, people have used it medicinally, um, just like cannabis, um, for various things, um, uh, for healing wounds. Uh, and the active ingredient, nic nicotine, is uh, similar to the compounds found in hemp, marijuana, and cannabis in that um, we do have some receptor sites for it. Um, and it does activate the body. <clears throat> but this is where the two plants uh, diverge. Uh, nicotine itself is not uh, a cancerous agent. It doesn't cause cancer. But the cured tobacco leaf when they harvest the plant, dry it, and cure it over many days, it does create chemicals that when they enter your body, trigger cells in your body to become uh, carcinogenic, to become cancerous. And this is a huge distinction. What they've found when they do tests, and this was a really easy thing for the National Institute of Drug Abuse and people who were against uh, any kind of legalization of marijuana, they said, oh, well, let's just uh, test marijuana smoke and, and we'll determine that it causes cancer, just like tobacco. And then uh, we will um, tell the world that it's, you know, marijuana is just as, is bad. <clears throat> what they found is they could not uh, find a link between marijuana 
and the chemicals uh, that are found in marijuana and cancer in our body. Now it gets a little complicated because when you analyze all the compounds in the cannabis plant, there are carcinogens. There are chemicals that have been known to cause cancer in cells. A brief explanation of cancer is when you have a cell and it starts to uh, multiply and uh, gets out of control and creates a, a tumor. So it's actually a normal cell in our body. It's not this evil invader. It's a normal cell in our body that gets confused and gets triggered into a um, process of multiplying and becomes a tumor which is unhealthy for the body. Um, the chemicals in cannabis do not uh, make this occur. Uh, they are actually protective. And this is why it's, it's very simple in the numbers. We basically have uh, about 400,000 people in the U.S. alone that die from tobacco-related uh, deaths. Um, we're talking about three to five million people worldwide that uh, get cancer in the lungs and have uh, lung-related disease from the tobacco plant. Um, nicotine itself is an extremely toxic chemical at, at a large amount. Hi everybody, uh, different setting behind me. Uh, we had connection issues. So let me just recap. I'm Ezra Parzibach, EzraHelps.com. I'm a cannabis consultant today for November, uh, uh, which is National uh, Can Lung Cancer Awareness Month. I'm talking about the distinction between the cannabis plant and the tobacco plant, which is really important because uh, basically they both have chemicals in them. Uh, many of the chemicals in the cannabis plant have been shown to be carcinogenic, which means um, those chemicals alone uh, can, uh, can make cells go cancerous, become cancerous. They, they are cancer promoters. And then the chemicals that are found in tobacco are also found to be carcinogenic. But here's the difference. Once the chemicals from cannabis enter the lungs, they do not have that effect on the body. Uh, the chemicals uh, uh, latch onto the cells in the lungs, and those carcinogens are prevented from forcing that cell to become carcinogenic because the action of the cannabinoids, these are the chemicals that are THC, CBD, these important chemicals in the plant, they are protective. <clears throat> what they do is they balance the cell's behavior, they regulate the cell's behavior, and they prevent cancer from occurring in those cells. Tobacco, when we're talking about tobacco, the cured cannabis leaf with the nicotine in it, when that enters the lung, they uh, have a very specific trigger of cancerous behavior in cells. And that's why you have such a huge disparity of numbers. There's actually never been a single uh, case of someone, of a human, getting lung cancer directly from marijuana smoke. Whereas we have uh, three to five million people a year across the globe who have uh, cancer or uh, fatal, it's essentially killing them, uh, from, from smoking can, uh, marijuana, from smoking tobacco smoke. So <clears throat> the chemicals are very uh, distinctive. Nicotine and the chemicals that are produced in the tobacco plant are carcinogenic. They do make the cells become cancerous. And the chemicals inside t uh, marijuana are uh, protective. They actually prevent cells from being cancerous. Now, they have done a lot of tests on this. There has, there's one study that does link uh, some of the actions of the cannabis plant to pro-cancerous behavior um, <clears throat> in the cell. But as I said, uh, no serious link has ever been uh, connected. And as a professional cannabis consultant, this is really important because a lot of people come to me who have cancer, who have lung cancer even, uh, or who are uh, hoping to prevent cancer or worried about cancer. And it's really important that I make them understand the distinction between the dangers of tobacco smoke, which are really real, and the safety of uh, cannabis smoke. Uh, and, and that's important. Now, the, here's an, another amazing fact that CBD, cannabidiol, the compound, the secondary compound of, TH, of cannabis, 
uh, secondary to THC because THC is what gets us high. CBD is the secondary compound and it's actually been shown to reduce people's craving for nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive substance. Uh, your body becomes physically addicted to it. Our body does not become physically addictive, addicted to the compounds in cannabis. So when you take in CBD, and if you take in CBD at high amounts, at high dosages, uh, say 100 milligrams a day, you can actually bring back your nicotine, uh, uh, pull back your, your nicotine cravings. So not only does cannabis not uh, create cancer cells in the lungs, there are no links to cancer and cannabis smoke, um, but some of the compounds in cannabis reduce nicotine cravings, uh, and this is essential for smokers. So I'll actually have uh, smokers come to me, cigarette smokers come to me, uh, curious about how to use medical marijuana or using it for other ailments, and I'll tell them that if they use CBD at high amounts, and you can even smoke CBD in a vaporizer, I sell it off my website, and uh, this will reduce your craving of nicotine. So not only does cannabis not cause cancer, it's actually helping, uh, if used correctly, to reduce nicotine and tobacco smoke intake in smokers. So. As we become aware of uh, November, uh, Lung Cancer Awareness Month, it's a huge distinction between these two. And as somebody who is in interested in health, and I'm a parent and a husband, I want to make sure that uh, what I'm talking about is safe for my community. And so I really strongly believe that uh, cannabis is a much safer uh, medicinal herb um, for the lungs. Than, uh, than nicotine. Now, um, I, uh, I think that basically sums up um, what I'm getting at uh, in terms of the difference between cannabis and tobacco. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about my live feed, you can reach me at ezrahelps.com. Uh, you can comment on the video and I'll come back to it. Uh, if you have any ideas for other topics you want me to cover, I'm happy to do that as well. Next week, I'm going to be talking at the same time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live, and I'll be talking about uh, different ingestion methods. So there's topical cannabis, there's cannabis that we inhale into our lungs, and there's cannabis that we take orally into our uh, GI tract. And they all have different effects and are uh, serve uh, patients in different ways in terms of addressing ailments. So I'll be talking about that next week. You can follow me. Uh, you can uh, uh, ask to join my private uh, Facebook group where I talk about medical cannabis. Uh, and you can find me for a consultation at EzraHelps.com. Until then, take care.